Welcome back to Thursday Night Pro Scans with Revan and Mr. X. Currently, it's all tied up. Two maps apiece between Unite Gaming and Quantic Gaming. Moving to the next map, it's going to be Express Search and Destroy. So, Mr. X, tell me a bit about this map. What's the usual strategies we're going to see from both these teams? Uh, Express Search, Express as a map in general is very symmetrical. But I believe most teams like pushing A more than B. At the beginning of the game, everyone pretty much said B was the better spot, but now it's transitioned over to A. You're going to see a lot of teams push these bushes and jump on. The defensive team's going to jump onto the trains and play their bridge. You know, usually when I see teams go B, it's because the offensive or someone from the offensive side got a really good spawn way ahead of the pack. So he just kind of leads the charge, gets some trophy systems behind him, and tries to get that initial positioning behind the bomb site. But right now, it looks like Quantic Gaming, nobody got that spawn. So they're trying to work the A-bomb site as we're currently in a three-on-three -three situation. Yeah, one of the things Unite does very well on this map especially is that when they know you're going A, they like to flood their guys up onto the bridges and up on top of the trains and trap you in those two locker rooms and top control. And it's extremely difficult to fight out of those positions. Okay, so two on two now. Time winding down. Less than 30 seconds remaining in the round. It's Assassin and Vengeance Alive for Quantic Gaming going up against Parasite. And Ricky, it looks like they still want to push this bomb to the A site, but they got to go, like, right now as there's only so little time left on the clock. But it looks like Assassin and Vengeance, they're going to make it work with the kills there. Assassin with the nice shots on Ricky. We're going to look at it one more time in the round, and he kill comes. So he jumps out of the train to help out his teammate and finds Ricky on top of the train here. Solid M8 shots as expected from Assassin. He cleans up house. Quantic take the first round. Yeah, Assassin's one of the better at mates in the game, you know, and he's one of the smarter, most underrated search players in the game, too, so doesn't surprise me, but a very nice play right there from both players from Quantic. All right, so speaking of the spawns, nobody from Unite got that better spawn as well, so they're just going to try their look at the eight bomb site. but Assassin, he's been known as Captain Clutch since so for so many years now. Every time you have him in, like, a 1v3, 1-on-2 situation, he always seems to pull through, but actually going down near the eight bomb site, flawless with first blood, taking out Parasite, who's just left the game. Yeah, that's an interesting move. Right. But uh, one of the things I wanted to point out was a lot like how Meltdown S&D, a lot of p defensive teams stack the generators. I'm surprised we're not seeing more teams on defense on Express stacking A because A is, seems to be the most dominant uh, spot for the offensive team to push. Well, you never want to get caught off guard by a rush, I feel like. So the defense, they'll usually send two to three guys down to B. They don't see an initial rush. Then two of them will rotate back and help out the Lone Ranger over at the A bomb site. But we saw Parasite get back into the game. But you just never want to give away a free round to a B rush, I feel like. Yeah, I, I agree. But at the same time, I also feel like if you go, if you go send more guys to A, I feel like it's easier to collapse and rotate back into B as opposed to rotate out of B into A. Yeah, I feel you on there. I mean, there are just so many different positions. you got to check near the A-bomb site as opposed to the B-bomb site where you can pretty much guess where they're going to be. But one-on-one -on -one situation here. 30 seconds left on the timer. It's Ricky versus Flawless, and Ricky comes out on top there. So Quantic, they come out guns blazing on the first round, and Quantic, they're able to answer back here. Yeah, Ricky with beautiful shots right here. I really like this play. I mean, huge advantage from where he is. And he just played it perfectly. Yeah, Ricky's such a positional player. Every time you have him in those power spots on the map, you're never going to get him out of there as Unite Gaming, they tied things up after two rounds. So who do you want to watch from this Quantic squad? Uh, from Quantic, I really want to watch Sensor. You know, we were talking earlier about how he's a very smart player on Hardpoint, and I think he's also a very smart player on Search. You know, using the sniper rifle, uh, I think he can make something happen here in the mid-tracks. I think there's still enough time where he could switch up his class if, you know, he has th second thoughts about using this for the rest of the round, but it looks like he's confident in his sniper rifle here. You saw him with the TAC-45 as his secondary. Two stuns and a grenade to work with. However, he's not using flank jackets, so that's one of the weaknesses with this class. I see Unite Gaming. They're going for a flank here. You got Pyrocyte all the way in the back of the base. You got one player that's going to be nameless making his way through the bridge, and Embo's working through the middle train track. Sensor looking for the kill. Finds one in the middle of the map here. Moving to the TAC-45. Can't pick up the kill. Now it's all up to Flawless as nameless Embo's and Pyrocyte all able to pick up kills, and there goes Flawless. Embo's letting him know about it. <laughs> yeah, Embo's letting him have it right now. He's He's not, not today for Flawless. All right, so Ricky's already gained his RCXD card with that defuse. Looks like he might be working towards the Hellstorm missile as well as you saw him in the previous round ending kill cam, but this round ending kill cam, you're going to see Embos. And this is why you're check your corners, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Flawless? How you doing, buddy? Oh, just hanging out? Nah. None Gosh, of that. That's got to hurt. 
That, that looks like it hurts. He's holding his neck on the way down, and he's like, nah. Ouch. Okay, so Unite Gaming, they win their second round in a row. So after round three, let's pop up our score. And there you have Ricky on top. Four and one, 725 points. So if you're on Quantic Gaming, you look at that scoreboard, you got to kill Ricky here. And he's going to use his RCXD car. He's going to use it to clear out the B-bomb site. You got Flawless looking in from the ticket booth. Does find one near the B-bomb site. Looks like Ricky is still trying to find an <laughs> angle to make this RCXD car work. But he's got to explode it soon because if he's using the RCXD, he can't move at home. Right, yeah, and uh, I think it actually just died to an EMP or stun, but, you know, Ricky's actually extremely close to his health storm, and after picking up that kill, I believe he's only about 30 or 40 points away, so he should really play for that streak right now. All right, but, you know, a map like Express, the health storm, so the lightning strike, it's not as useful as, let's say, a map like a Raid, where it's very open, not much cover you could take from it. But you could still try to push that A bomb site. You know, you could flood B on defense and use the score streaks to clear out A. There's still ways to make it work, just not as useful as other maps. But 2 on 1 situation, it's up to Ventus to try to cluster around here for Quantic. Yeah, and you see he actually picks up his Hellstorm from blowing up that trophy system, nice. which is an extremely smart play right there from Ricky. All right, so Hellstorm Missile is acquired. 20 seconds remaining in the round, though. Parasite, he's going to find Vengeance here. Doesn't come out on top of that engagement. It's going to be Ricky. If he gets this plan off, he will get the Lightning Strike. I think that's exactly what he has in mind here. So Vengeance, hey, buddy, you want to check that bomb site? I think he's going for a plant. Vengeance, he's going at the perfect time. Will Ricky get the score sheet? Yes, he can with the plant. So score Lightning Strike acquired there for Ricky. But in the end, Quantic Gaming, they take the round win. Yep, that's perfectly okay, to be honest. To give away a round to acquire your Lightning and Hailstorm, like you said, it's not as effective as a map like Raider standoff, but I think just the threat that somebody else has score streaks changes the way the other team plays. All right, so we'll see when Ricky decides to call these things in. In the meantime, look at the round any kill can. Vengeance picking up the kill on the Ricky after that bomb plant, but just not in time because he allowed Ricky to get that Lightning Strike. So when do you expect to see Ricky call these things in? Uh, I expect to see the Lightning Strike on more of a defensive uh, play on this map when they push uh, to A. But I expect to see that you're going to use the Hellstorm offensively on this map in a bunch of creative ways. I think if you were to push A and hover the Hellstorm and let the guy plant the bomb as almost like a coverage, I think that's a good, nice play. So we may see something like that out of Ricky. Okay, so Flawless starting our screen. Quantic, they lost sensor early on in the round, but despite that, Plus, so he just wants to get this bomb down, so now they're going to have the positional advantage, but not the numbers, as now Parasite picks up the call on the bench. Plus, does find one, taking on Embo, so three on two situation. Now, all they got to do is wait for the defuse to happen for Unite Gaming. In the meantime, Assassin was able to pick up one more kill on the Nameless. So that swings things in Quantic's favor, especially now that Ricky, he's the last one alive. Right. And uh, if you're Ricky right here, you could, you well, not in this position right here, but you could have pinged your lightning to actually get the location of both players to see if you can clutch this round out. But you know, I don't mind the play of him saving it for a few future rounds. Yeah, with the previous patch, you know, you only get that ping once around. However, who planted the bomb? Let's take a look. So the plant came from Flawless. Flawless picks up the kill, but luckily for Ricky, that bomb did not blow up. So Flawless, he's gonna be working towards streaks, but he doesn't have them yet because Ricky died right here. Yeah, which isn't which isn't a bad play at all, to be honest. Ricky got his streaks, so he's not really working to overlap them and search and destroy. And those 300 points are huge for the bomb detonating, so I'd rather give somebody the 100 for a kill than 300 for the bomb plant. We'll see how close the fall is this. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering around maybe a kill, a kill and a half away from getting the RCXD car, which could still be very useful on Express, but you see Quantic, they're going to send around two guys over towards the B bomb site. As Ventures doesn't see anything, they're going to rotate back to A, where Unite Gaming, this is where they're going to make their push. Right, Unite's going to choose to push A again. Boom! And, uh... You know, they push A extremely well. They push through the mid-trains, which is, is a nice spot to push. But I've also seen sometimes that they push uh, Parasite into the mid-rails, and he crawls on his stomach all the way across to the other side and flanks. Mm, so Parasite doing some snake diving there to try to get around through enemy lines. Not this round, though, as now Ricky, Nameless, and Embos, they all got picked off early in the round. Quantic Gaming. They're coming out strong here on Express Search and Strike as they take a 42 round lead. And here's how it happens. Sensor in the round ending kill camp finds Parasite just sitting pretty inside the trait. Sensor makes quick work of him there. Quantic game, they're looking pretty strong here. Yeah, like I was saying, I like how Unite was doing before where they pushed from B over and pinched you in those locker rooms. That's exactly what Quantic did there. They 
they sent two guys around the flank, they killed the one guy watching the back, and they pinched those other guy players to unite inside lockers and inside control. All right, so since Flawless, he's the one closest to his score streaks, they're going to give him the bomb here to plant. So close to that RCXD car. Finds one up top control. No score streaks for you, says Embos, as he gets first blood in the round. Vengeance has a sniper, but Unite Gaming, they're answering back here as they pick up the first two kills in the round. It looks like as they got initial position over near the Quantic Bridge, they immediately back up, and now it's all up to Captain Clutch Assassin. One on three situation. Let's see if he can get this one. Finds one player. There's the first pick. Takes that parasite. Trying to get one more. Finds one over near his back ramp. Oh. Runs out of ammo. Can't pick up the kill there, as you're going to see Nameless in the round ending kill game. Yeah, that was that was huge picking up the first kill, though, because Assassin did acquire his RC car there, but. You know, it's a good play from Unite. They really, they knew where he was. They flooded him with multiple people, and they really gave him no, no option but to really go down. Because if you would have pushed him one by one, then you lead to. All right, so Assassin he picks up the RCXD car, but Unite Gaming they're still down by one round overall. And I got a comment on this, Mr. X. Yeah. Since Hilton has joined the game, <laughs> I don't think Unite Gaming has lost. Yeah, you know, Hilton's a great motivator. I mean, you see him in person at events. He's a hilarious guy. But, you know, he really gets them riled up and ready to play. And I think he also loosens the mood, too. He's a pretty funny guy. <laughs> so you see Nameless, he's able to make things happen over the start. Hellstorm Missile will be called in by Ricky. He should pick up a kill, and it does take it out of Sasa. So no RCXD car available for him this round, as now it's a 3-on-2 situation. Bomb does get planted over near the A-bomb site. Sensor trying to push through the bridge. He's found and quickly dealt with by Ricky. Now it's all to Vengeance. Finds himself in a 1-on-3. Does pick up the kill there on the Nameless. So 1-on-2. Oh, he picked oh, up the kill oh, on oh, the Embos. 1-on-1. Oh. One one. Vengeance versus Ricky as he picks up the Sniper. Sniper in B23R versus Ricky, who's gotten M8. Finds him on the hedge. How does that Vengeance respond? Still has a bit of time to work with. 15 seconds left on the clock. He's going to throw a grenade at Ricky. Good play, but he's got to go for that defuse, go for the kill or something. As There's just not enough time left on the clock. Ricky's going to check the bomb. Vengeance does find him there. Ricky picks up the kill. Almost a spectacular play from Vengeance turns into a Unite round win. Yeah, it was a really smart play from Ricky. You know, he put a few shots into let... Vengeance know that he was up top, and then he played the bomb time to his advantage. Vengeance probably should have pushed right away, straight up top, or oh, even down to the lockers to the ladder. But you know, when you get shot at from up there, oh, you, you get a kind of worried. So he really didn't make a play, but that was a smart play from Ricky. And during round number nine, there's your scoreboard assassin on top for Quantic Ricky on top for Unite. And here comes the B push from Quantic Gaming. It's gonna be up to Parasite, and only Parasite first blood is made. Vengeance picks up the kill. Now you're gonna see the Unite members frantically try to rotate here. Nameless does find one in the middle booth. Picks up the kill on Avengers. Can he make it too? He's out of ammo and he is punished for that as he gets taken out there by Sensei. Lightning Strike gets called in by Ricky. Is able to pick up one kill, but was it worth it in this round? Uh, that, that Absolutely, I think that's worth it right now. You know, to make it an even man advantage and you know where both of the other team's players are, you can really work the two on two to in, your, in your favor. Now Embos, he's all alone here at the B-bomb site. Ricky is going to pop up on the train, try to give him some cover there. But Embos, he's making his move, finds one there, gets taken out by Vendor. So now Ricky finds himself in a one-on-two situation. And the bomb, it's just been planted over near the B-bomb site. So Quantic, they got positioning. How does Ricky go about clutching this round? You know what? Ricky with an AR really has to work the, the checkered hallways, to be honest. Because uh, with the subs watching, mostly those exits, we call them, those uh, ramps from the trains, uh, he's really got to push low and use the AR to his advantage and try and get a pick and then try and force the other guy out. All right, so bad grenade by Ricky running with his knife out. You're watching too much FPS, Doug, Rick. <laughs> As you guys taken out there by sensor, but Vendrick, he was in a great position, had a good line of sight over near the top of the train. But Quantic Gaming, they're now one round away from retaking the lead in the pro scrim and winning Express Search and Destroy. Yeah, you know, I'm extremely impressed by Quantic's search and destroy game. They they stick together well and they play the picks extremely well. And that's usually what we see out of Unite, but just not right now. You know, usually we see some crazy strategy come out of Unite, you know, using the riot shield, using some smokes, using some, you know, stacking grenades. But so far from them, it's just been all standard. Do you think maybe they're just trying to hide some strats for future tournaments? Uh, that could be possible, you know. They're maybe hiding some strats, but for 500 pro points, I would probably bust out all my strats right now. Yeah, pro point so important, especially for this Quantic squad as they got Flawless, who's a Canadian, so it's kind of tough for him to compete in the online tournaments and earn some points through there. But in the meantime, it looks like Unite Gaming, they're going to make 
somewhat of a B push here as Parasite, he's got position. They made the first blood there onto center, so I think he's just waiting for his teammates to rotate over as two players do go down for Quanic. Fuzz is able to even things up there, but he's quickly dealt with this now. It's all up to Assassin in a one-on-two situation. Still has an RCXD to work with. Yeah, you know, and he's just playing this extremely smart, extremely fast. Oh, picks up, oh Assassin! Going huge! That was... That's easy as it gets right there. Both players lining up for him. Yeah. Assassin, he's going to let him know about it. Yeah, he's going to let them know that he didn't appreciate them making it that easy for him, I don't think. Come on, man. I at least want to work for my clutches, says Assassin. But <laughs> there you go. Quantic Gaming, they're going to take Express Search and Destroy 6-4, to four, which is the exact round count that Unite took Meltdown. Yeah, you know, and it was just better team play, to be honest, out of uh, Quantic. Uh, like, this exact play right here at the end just shows... Uh, Unite probably wasn't all on the same page that map, and uh, that's a little bit sh shocking because their search game is really well. Okay, so Quantic Gaming, they retake the lead in the best of nine series, three maps to two. So we're going to head to map number six, which it's going to be a capture flag after this quick commercial break. <laughs> 